In this video we'll show you three quick tips to change your standard video from this boring sequence which comes right out of your camera without any edits to this awesome cinematic clip with only a few slight adjustments in DaVinci Resolve, the free version. How do we do it? First stabilize it, second use a dynamic zoom and last but not least add black bars to it. Let's get right into it. Hey guys and welcome back to Christian's Tech Tips episode 2. As promised, this will be a fast tutorial to quickly and easily add 3 modifications to your video so that you can get awesome results fast. If you want to see more videos, I've already produced some DaVinci Resolve tutorials covering these topics in every detail. To watch them, you can click here up in the left corner as soon as the suitable topic is mentioned. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and like it to help me grow this channel. Thank you so much. Okay, we are jumping right away into DaVinci Resolve. I've created a new project with my 4K footage and 29.97 FPS via the project settings. I have chosen this sequence which is a bit shaky. No problem, let's put a warp stabilizer on it. For that, go to the inspector in the upper right corner, check that you are on the video tab and scroll down until you see the stabilization option. Perfect. You have three choices, perspective, similarity and translation. Most of the time, I would say you can go with the pre-selected perspective one. Sometimes when it's too warpy, I try out the other ones for different results. You can also play around and adjust the cropping ratio, the smoothness factor and the strength. For our example, I go with the standard settings and click stabilize. As you can see, it processes and then it zooms a bit into our footage, but it's worth it. Great. Let's play it again and you see that it is now stabilized. First point done. All right, to add a bit more dynamic into the shot, we will briefly add a slight dynamic zoom. To do that, repeat what we've already done before. Go to the inspector, scroll down and activate the dynamic zoom. Here you have also some options you could change. Most of the time I simply go with linear as suggested. Let's check how the preview looks out of the box. Okay, it does its job, but this is too strong for my taste and goes in the wrong direction. So let's click on this tiny icon under the preview window where you can also select dynamic zoom. Now a red and a green border appears. We are interested in the green one and we drag it so that the box gets bigger so that the zoom will not be so drastic. Simply expand this one and then click on swap. So it will reverse the effect, meaning it will zoom in instead of zooming out. Basically that's it. Let's play it back and boom, we're also added a dynamic zoom to this clip. Second step done. Finally, we add black bars to it, aka letterboxing. This is to do what Hollywood does, adding a wider format to it, what we are used to see in the cinema. For that, we just go to the main menu at the top here, click timeline and go all the way down to output blanking. There we simply select our desired format. I will take the most used one 2.39, the widescreen cinema standard format. There are other as well, but we can ignore them for now. One simple selection, click and already added our black bars to the whole clip. Awesome. Step three done. I will also add a short music track to it to spice it up and we're good to go. Now let's quickly export the clip by selecting the rocket icon on the bottom, choose MP4 as my format, 4K, frame rate stays the same and I restrict the quality as usual to 50,000. Add to render queue and press render all. And done. I think that's it for today's Christian Tech Tips episode 2. I hope these three DaVinci Resolve tips help you to create even more stunning videos and add a slight cinematic touch to them. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to activate this little bell down there so that you will never miss a future video from me. Ah, and speaking about more videos, some of them have already appeared around me so that you can seamlessly continue watching. That said, take care, stay healthy and see you in the next one.